Today we're going to find out if a hay bale can stop bullets. And this is actually going to be pretty much two tests in one. We're going to see if this hay bale can stop various calibers that we throw at it. And I'm hoping that it actually will stop them because then the second part I'm going to recover the bullets, hopefully intact. And this was actually my friend Backyard Ballistics idea. And Backyard Ballistics is another YouTuber who also focuses on firearms content. He makes some really good videos, so make sure to check him out if you can. This video that I'm making here today was actually his idea. So make sure to check out his channel, he's got some great content. But anyways, let's get started with our test and see if this hay bale can stop bullets. Alright, so we got a target set up behind the hay bale to see if anything makes it through. And we're going to start out with the 22 long rifle. Using these Aguila Super Extra High Velocity 40 grain round nose bullets. Oh wow, it looks like one of our 22s might have actually made it through. There's a new hole in the paper there with a piece of straw stuck in it. Kind of looks like an exit hole right there too. And there's the back. It looks like our 22, one of the 22s went straight through the hay bale and through our board here. So it looks like we stopped one of the 22s, but one of them looks like it went through. So that doesn't give me very good hopes that we're going to stop all these bullets unless we shoot it long ways. But let's confirm that with the 45 ACP and see if these go through. And we'll be using Winchester 230 grain full metal jackets. All right, and both of those sailed right through the hay bale. We got two big old entries right there full of hay. You can kind of see two big exits there. So it appears a hay bale is not bulletproof, at least not this way, because even a 22 and a 45 ACP appear to have gone right through it. So now we're gonna just shoot the hay bale long ways and see if we can stop bullets that way. And hopefully we can at least recover some of these projectiles. So we're going to move back to the 22 long rifle using the same Aguila high velocity rounds. And we stopped both of them. So two feet of hay will not stop 22s, but roughly four feet or so will. And now back to the 45 with the Winchester 230 grain full metal jackets. Let's do one more for good measure. And once again, nothing went through. So long ways it stopped all three of those 45s. How about some 44 Magnum, 240 grain jacketed hollow points? And those ones actually both went through. Wow, that's actually incredible. That was a lot of hay. But we got two entries on our board there. So apparently the 44 Magnum will go right through that much hay. That's pretty incredible. But it will stop the 45 and the 22. Let's move up to some rifles and see what those will do. So now we're going to hit the hay bell with the 223 using some Federal 55 grain FMJ. Let's go ahead and hit it again.
with that last shot, I saw a bunch of hay exploding out of the side here. So I'm worried the bullet actually just came out the side. And out of four shots, it looks like we got two new holes, right here and right here. So I'm pretty sure at least two of those four shots went through. And I think one of them came out the side right here. So hopefully at least one of those bullets is in here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the 308 with 150 grain FMJs. I highly doubt that it's gonna stop the 308 since uh, apparently even the 223 went through. But let's see what happens. I saw a huge puff of hay come out the back. But let's hit it one more time. Look at that gigantic exit hole. Or entrance, I should say. First shot went through right here. Second shot right there. So the 308 of course went through like nothing and exploded hay all out the back. Well that kind of sucks, we weren't able to stop the 44, the 223, or the 308. But at least we got some 45s and 22s. So apparently even long ways, a hay bell this size will not stop pretty much any rifle calibers or magnum handgun calibers. But if it's smaller calibers, like 22 long rifle, 45 ACP, those will not make it through long ways. The more you know. All right, now let's see if we can find the 22s and 45s. I'm not sure where to start. They both made it through this much the other way, so maybe I should start in here. So unfortunately we were not able to recover any of the projectiles and now I've just got a huge mess. I dug all through that hay bale and couldn't find anything except a lead fragment, most likely from a 22. And like I said, now I've just got a huge mess thanks to Backyard Ballistics. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all good. I'll clean this up. No big deal. So anyways, make sure to check his channel out. He's got some great content. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description and remember if there's anything specific you guys would like to see, just drop me a comment and let me know. Well, that's all for now, and until next time, thanks for watching.